Hey guys, welcome back again. So we're on the next segment of the Firewall Teach the Fish. Uh, and this one is concerning the management options you have for firepower, firepower threat defense. So we'll get to the presentation here. This is the Cisco Firewall Teach to Fish, and it concerns the initial engineering, architecture, and implementation phase, kind of where you're planning out a new install but have not yet uh, delivered it. Or if you're kind of planning a refresh or migration of existing infrastructure where you're doing like a brown, uh, greenfield or brownfield install. So the management options. You have three general management options and the agenda for this is going to be the central management option. Firepower Management Center is the local centralized management option is what I'll say. Um, then you have Firepower Device Manager and that is the separate and discrete uh, manager that is located and hosted on the firewall itself. And then you have the central cloud-based management tool called Cisco Defense Orchestrator. Now, there's some good nuances between all three of these, uh, and we're going to get into them here as we go through the rest of the slides. So Firepower Management Center is a centralized web-based interface appliance for managing multiple firepower threat defense boxes. So what, what are the benefits, right? It's centralized. It gives you a lot of additional analysis that is not done on the local managers. The local managers are there basically just for configuring interfaces and setting up uh, policies and rules and stuff like that, whereas the central manager collects data from all of the firewalls and performs some detailed analysis on it. And that gives you a lot, a lot of advantages. That's going to be covered in more detail on the engineering operations and maintenance side though, so we're not going to go into a lot of detail here, but just be aware, a lot of analysis happens. Uh, logging is also done in the FMC, so when you're getting ACL hits and you want to see what type of connections are being established on all the firewalls, all of that is centrally collected and displayed on the FMC. You have the ability to back up the software and the config that is on each of your managed firewalls. Okay, so you can do patching from the FMC and that allows you to centrally push the patch only to the FMC and then the FMC passes that patch through its own encrypted channel to each of the devices. So instead of having to have it on an FTP server or all that stuff, through the web browser, you can upload the patch, you can upload updates and upgrades all to the FMC, and then it takes care of propagating that out and staging it on your devices. You don't have to do the upgrade immediately, you can just push it all out there, right? So you, when you're doing maintenance windows, for example, instead of scheduling a three hour maintenance window so you can push and then upgrade each one sequentially, you can push the software to every device, no risk at taking down operations, and then schedule your maintenance window for like, 30 minutes just to do the reboot and application. Things like that. Good management, central policy push out. Now there's configuration centrally on the FMC too. Instead of going to 400 devices and configuring the same config, for example, if you're just doing a basic NAT inside out for a bunch of remote sites, you can go to one place, create that single policy, and then push it out to all 300 uh, firepowers. Just doing simple NATing out to your provider or whatever it is you have. Now, if you have certain discrepancies between different sites or different categories of sites, you can group them. And then you can provide hierarchical overriding policies where you have the basic NAT policy. And then on a few devices, you might do some identity NAT because you need some native access or set up some site-to-site -site VPNs between some of them. Things like that, right? You can get very granular and use the hierarchical configuration in central management to help save your operations and management time down the road. You also have HA available if you want to deploy both two FMCs. They can back each other up and one one fails, the other one's up. You can do rollback. You can push a config and say, eh, that didn't work the way I wanted. Let's roll it back. And last of uh, all, it is all secure. It's all done over a proprietary SF tunnel communications from the FMC to each of the FTD devices that are being managed. So that's central firepower management center management. You also have the option of a local manager, and this is a web-based manager that sits on the firepower itself and operates on the firepower itself. Now, the cool thing about it is it uses the native FTD APIs. In other words, we eat our own dog food. Uh, our APIs, which you might want to use to automate stuff, are gonna be very well developed because we ourselves rely on them to do the automation and configuration through our own manager that's sitting on it. Now, the big advantage of this is it's simpler to set up. It's not as good when you look at the overall organizational benefits, but if you're just looking for fastest setup, easy to do, this is it. You throw the box out there, log into its web port, you get 
a simple wizard to walk through initial configuration and you're done. And you can just keep doing everything through that. Last but not least is Cyber Defense Orchestrator. If you're looking for a convenient merge of both benefits, simple, easy, and intuitive to configure up front, and central management hierarchical policies, and one additional thing, multi-platform, ASA, FTD, ISA, Meraki, CDO is what you need to look at. And this is essentially Cisco's like management service. It's hosted by Cisco. You don't have to worry about failover or anything like that. It's got role-based access control. It's always on. We maintain it. All you have to do is stand up a new device, tell it to call home, and then log into CDO and you can configure everything there. And what's even cooler is on the latest versions of Firepower, they have their own power on self-registration. If you want, it can call home by itself and based on a serial number, self-register and boom, you've got central management of your FTD in the simplest form possible. It merges kind of the best benefits of the FMC and the FDM all together. So that's it. Those are the three different ways of managing the software. Um, if you are a commercial customer or a residential, you can use CDO. If you're federal, probably not there yet, but you'll be getting there. All right, that's it, guys. Hope you had a good one. Talk to you later.